Hi Stampers, another video tutorial coming at you. This one is from Stamp Club and we made little boxes. We made these little guys. And they hold a standard size lip balm. How cool is that? It's a little gift, my thank you to them for a wonderful celebration. Just wanted to give them a little something at club. So we made the little lip gloss holders. Well, I made them actually. And <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to do those. So I'm using DSP and I am using the Stacked with Love from the Occasions catalog. And I know it's not Valentine's Day but there's really cool prints on here and even though they have some Valentine colors in them, they're not all Valentine prints. So you can use the other side of the paper, the dots. Or for someone you love then use the hearts. <laughs> Either way but I love 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 this pack of paper. It's come in so handy. So we're going to use a piece that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. And we're gonna use our Simply Scored. And on one side, we're going to score at the three quarter mark and at the three and a half mark. So right along the edges. And then we're gonna flip that over on the next side and we are gonna score at one inch, one and three quarter inches, two and a half, and three and a quarter. So you've got four scores along one side and two along the other. We'll get this out of the way. And I'm going to fold on all of my score lines. There we go. And then I'm going to need a to cut a little piece out. And what we want to do is, you can see little squares here, there's three squares and there's two larger rectangular shapes. We're going to cut out the four corners, the larger rectangular shapes. So after you've creased your score lines, it's much easier to see, especially if you're working on the patterned paper and not just a card stock. Um, so definitely crease all your folds first and then you can cut out your corners. Once we've cut out our four corners, we need to cut slits along these three little squares. These are gonna be the sides of our box. And we're gonna to wanna to put some adhesive on those and close up the ends of our box. So now you've got all four corners gone and then you've got the little square pieces on the ends. Easy peasy, right? Some scoring, some cutting, done. Okie dokie. Now what you want to do, I'm going to use, actually I might put my pink side out. There we go. So what I want to do is, I've got the three squares here. I just want to put snail along two of them. Okay, because one of these squares is going to be your top flap and you don't want snail on that. So what I did was I left this piece without adhesive and I put some snail on these two and this one I made with snail too and that was a couple weeks ago and it's not coming apart it's just a little lip gloss it's nothing heavy that's inside so snail could work for you although if you're worried about them coming apart the party favors are going to be handled a lot um, just put, use some sticky strip or use some of the fast fuse that's in the catalog too and just, just see how that goes that would hold it much tighter so we've got our snail on these two pieces so we're going to put what I did anyway, it doesn't matter which one goes first. I put the inside, then I put one side up, and then I closed the other side over top. Okay, so I put the middle piece up, closed the other side over top that has the snail on it, and then that piece we did not put snail on, I put right over the top. And if there's any, like there's a little bit of snail hanging out here, you can use that adhesive remover, this little guy right here. And you can just run that along the edges if you do have any adhesive that pokes out with the snail. And that just takes care of it. Easy peasy. And that's it. How cool is that? So I just happen to have, these are left over from convention a few years ago. I love these. I wish Stampin' Up! would do more of this kind of stuff. But they're little Stampin' Up! lip balms. And this is a standard size lip balm. You can find some at the dollar store or any, gro any grocery store or drug store. And it fits right inside. Easy peasy, right? And then you've got your edges here. 
time what you can do, or what I did with this one. I don't have the little hole punches from the catalog yet, unfortunately, so I'm using my crocodile. Works just the same though. Just pinch these two together, center that, punch a hole, and then you can use some baker's twine, some ribbon. This little guy, I used some of the white baker's twine and tied a bow on the top. I wanted people to be able to get into their lip gloss, so I didn't want to do anything too, too complicated. And then I used the Cheerful Critters. I love that stamp set. I'm so sad that it's going to be going away at the end of the occasions catalog, but the, the saying, I like your face for the lip gloss. So, and I just used the word window punch for that one. It fits right in there. And the red ink. And away you go. Easy peasy. You can decorate as much or as little as you like, and you've got yourself a cute little party favor. Awesome. Hope you like the project. Happy stamping.